Really? Mm. Stick around as we see who got it right and who got it wrong here on Big Easy Life. All right, so many folks on YouTube have their own opinion on New Orleans. Yeah. It's food and it's culture. Some do a pretty good job. Yeah. Others, mm. not so mm. much. We decided to be the Judge Dredd of New Orleans videos. I am the law! We're going to look at a couple of vids related to a theme, and then we're going to give you our thoughts on it as we go. Okay, let's see what YouTube has to say about red, red beans, beans and rice. Yeah, we've done our version of this. New Orleans staple. Yes. Uh, the first video we're going to look at is from September of 2017. It's from a channel called Simple Cooking with Eric. Uh, a video entitled Red Beans and Rice. His channel has... 17,900 subscribers. We could only be so lucky. Mm. Uh, and the video has had 197,000 views as of the recording yeah. of this. So quite a this bit. This can't go that wrong, can it? I don't know. So let's watch the video and see what we think. I'm We're going to get a simple cook with Eric. You know, today I'm going to show you how to make the best red beans and rice. Well, he set himself up early and I'm by saying sure everybody the best. Know how to make rice. Mm -hmm. Let me just show there you again. What I do. To make things quick and simple, I just follow the direction I make instant rice. Okay. Instant rice. Instant rice. But the start of this video is not the mini made rice, the instant rice. It is the red beans. The red beans. Bad news so, about Eric to right start off the out, bat, He's from Indiana. Have a pot, oh. Heating up. And what I'm going to yeah, add the to this pot, for that? I'm going to add some baking grease. Oh my gosh. Baking grease. And although I have grease. no problem using that is grease. That's a lot of grease. That is a lot of baking grease. That's pretty excessive. Okay. Wow. And. I'm going to add, what I have here, I have some um, cut up, diced up, sauce, uh, hot Polish sausages. Yeah. Hot Polish sausages. Hot diced, Polish? You can see, see they're diced up. Is he saying they're spicy or are they warm at I think he means they're, they're spicy. Some green pepper. Although Polish sausage is quite good. So chopped celery. I stick with more and of a onions. straight uh, smoke sausage. I don't want to sausage. add all this to, but I just want to show you what I'm adding. Green pepper, celery, onion. It's called a menopause. No. Uh, or trio. Is, we could spend let's, five minutes unpacking that up, statement. Let's pause Polish him right sausage. there for a second. You could use smoke sausage. We could spend a little bit unpacking that. First of all. It's a mirepoix. A mirepoix. A mirepoix. That's what women have as they get a little older. What? Never mind. We'll explain that later. Uh, and it's and um, also that's um, also not a mirepoix. And a mirepoix that's is the trinity. Is carrot, celery, and onion. What he just put in was the trinity. Was the trinity, which is bell pepper or any sort of pepper, celery, celery and, and onion. onion. So not a mirepoix, mm -hmm. not a menopause, not even menopause. So, so we're let's, let's keep going. Off to a great here. start. Oh, pour this sausage hot, mild. Not Italian sausage, though. It got to be like a smoked sausage. I guess sausage. Italian sausage would fall oh, apart. Yeah, that, that, so yeah. I assume that's what he means. If you tried to do Italian sausage, it's, it's not a, a cured sausage like that, so it's loose. Mm -hmm. So we'll give him credit for that. Yeah. That you, okay. you really couldn't he's, use He's going to need the points. He, I think so. Given what's This is the happened. way we're starting, yeah. As he boils all of that in cooked. bacon grease. Mm. How you can boil it in bacon grease is kind of a problem. Okay, we're gonna let that cook I'd like to point out he should really keep a more organized kitchen. He's been there for like 
three minutes now searching for what he's looking for? And if you're going to video it, you, you, you kind of got to go through prepping your, your ingredients in advance. It's also just a good idea to get everything out beforehand. The channel where cooking is made simple and easy. And as you all can see, how that's coming along, flying here. I have a feeling his bacon grease wasn't up to temperature when he started. Because you really don't see any browning happening on his onions, his peppers, or his celery. So he rushed it. Yeah, and because now that they've put out a bunch of fluid, they've put out a bunch of liquid, now it is boiling between that, that fluid and the oil, so you're not getting that color, which is the biggest reason you're doing this is you're wanting to bring some of that, that Maillard reaction you get from it up. Now, what I'm going to add is we're going to use what? Can red bean, dark All red right. kidney Great beans. value, can, can red. It could be anybody's mm. brand, now, generic, Although I can say that brand. we do have some of these uh, in the cabinet. Monte, green giant, I whatever. normally wash but them off and use them in things like chili can or red in a bean salad. Just wait so. for what he's about to do next, though. Behold, as he Conscious. dumps the starch water into the broth. Yeah, Lots of times, folks, those are those got a little extra uh, sugar in that in them as a preservative. Uh, oh. You've got almost like a syrup they're sitting in. Oh, you do not. Want to I rinse. Red beans. I rinse these the off. I would never not. use the liquid. Yeah, there's a, re there's a reason you pre-wash mm. these. We got the drain on but the. But hey, I, I'm. Look, I've been in competitions before. Blue runners, runners come pre-made in the, in the can, and there's actually several great competitions here in Louisiana where they, they people with, love the, these with, red beans. with blue runner red beans pre-cooked, where you doctor them up They're and they judge you on how red well red they doctor them up. Red beans so are pretty interesting right. competition. Yeah, it, it, so now there's I nothing do wrong with beans, using canned beans. It's just a matter of making sure you use them properly. A lot of red beans. And it's not only that, and now we've got all that bacon grease, and and we're just getting warmed up. We're not even halfway through. Things are about to ramp up. Okay. You know, he didn't have any garlic. Mm. I don't think that's quite a we sin, but the Pope does not it. approve. No. Okay, now. now to start adding our spices now. You know how you like things to taste? Should we, should we count our spices? Oh, we should. You know, keep an eye up here. And yeah. Any well. beans, vegetables, anything I cook, sugar brings that's out That's a lot the of flavor. sugar for I red beans. A I, that's a lot of sugar. I've never added sugar in red beans. Uh, now, well, it's not right, sugar for anything. When you cook down tomato sauce, you've I'm got a, a higher acidic a, content and all that, so you'll add some sugar, never in red beans. Red pepper flakes. Yeah. It, it works. You it's can, I don't, you know, that's it's not a problem. I don't, I don't necessarily have a We're problem with that. We're going to add some garlic powder. Oh, okay, so he's gonna use garlic powder. powder instead of fresh garlic. Some garlic powder. Oh, it's that's a lot. Of that's a lot of powder. powder. I try to cook with people to have these same ingredients in their house. I got some. Um, Should I be concerned? He just unscrewed the top off of the neck. Oh pot. no! I have some. No um, oh, no no no! Soul food seasons. Soul you food seasons. Okay. The little supreme spice. Soul food seasoning. Everybody keep now, track of the mound that he's building. Soul food seasoning it depends on who makes it. can have a lot of the same things. It's going to have garlic powder, onion powder. It's going to be a running theme as the spices. That they're kind yeah. of redundant. A a, uh, so, an absolute oregano. truckload of oregano. Not, not something I'd add to my beans either. But, you know, I'm trying to be open-minded. Yeah. We got some... Uh, Cajun, so Cajun spice. Uh, again, you're gonna spice. have garlic, more redundant onion, you've already cayenne, cayenne. Come together, folks. sage. We got some chili powder. What? 
chili powder. You all can see it. Are we making powder. chili here or red beans? Um. I, I took the, uh, pause that for a second. Chili powder. He's adding chili powder to his red beans. Now we're making red beans and not chili. I. Uh, and look at that. The, uh, look at the mound. Okay. Got a little sage. Sage. Haven't we added that already like three it's times over? I don't know. Oh, like and it's... the heaping. And the good load. Got a little green seasoning. I'll have to look this up. I think green seasoning is like a Caribbean seasoning. I, I'm honestly probably not still... real sure about that one. And probably still redundant. But again, these mixed seasonings have a little of everything oh, look. in them. It's turned into a kaleidoscope. It's a paste. Ew. Mm. Uh, I think I'm gonna gag from the residue sticking to his Come spoon. Yeah. That is gross. Alright, and I don't think we're finished. I don't think we're done. And then I'm gonna add a pack of chili season mix. He what? What? Is he actually did we read this wrong? Is he making chili here? Well, to be honest now, he is making chili. He's added oregano, <laughs> chili powder. And I'm and going to add a package of taco seasoning. <laughs> oh, hell. <laughs> oh, hell oh, that no. That hurts. So now so we have not only, taco seasoning. So not only is that sacrilegious in so many different ways, that's A, gross. Why would you add that to red beans? B, just why? And then I'm just gonna let so he basically why? has made meatless chili with sugar, and and the broth has turned into syrup. This yeah. is that that <laughs> residue is gross. It does not look appealing. I don't think I've ever seen a broth that sticky in my life. Urgh. Oh. Mm. Yo, well, comment below about what you think about simmer. Eric's red for beans about so far. 30 minutes. Uh, okay. I'd also like to mention how, how high the salt content on this has to be. Oh, Lord, Since yes. every individual seasoning All those combo has seasonings. to have probably and had salt. The, the taco seasoning, the chili seasoning, the green, the green seasoning. Seasoning, all is going to have salt in it. So his salt content probably going probably went through the roof. Wow. And now, oh... So, I read things there. They're yeah, ready. I'm After 30 minutes, I you think can have I think you have a problem when the lid on your pot looks rice. like I it got, got stained. Right That's just what you see. Look at that. And so <laughs> what I did oh, add. Oh, it's still gross syrup. Oh. Water. He looked like he added quite a bit of water to thin that out. Loose. But wow, I, once they cool down, cool oh, thick enough, so I wonder why. It's see. not like he had... It's not like he had salt content that could kill a man. Wow. I'd also like to mention, he doesn't add that much to his rice. I know it's kind of it's very light dosing. Yeah, he doesn't put a whole lot in with his rice. It seems as if even he is afraid of the way it tastes. <laughs> uh, he is afraid of his own creation. Yeah, he has a couple of beans with his rice there to be a little safer. Wow. That's... Mm. All right, I think I'm going to go ahead and... That huh. cannot taste good. Like, all the seasonings combined create probably a chaotic disaster of yuck. All right. Yeah. Went ahead and shut Eric yeah, down there. Yeah. What are your yeah. overall thoughts of uh, Eric's? <laughs> okay. In a, in a sound, I, I can't disagree. That is not... Very gross. Probably the grossest part is the whole syrup consistency yeah. of the broth. Nowhere near oh, the type of beans is, that we would normally that is expect so from red off beans and rice. Just syrup broth. So we like to add a balance to this. So uh, the next thing we're going to do is bring up another video. All right. Our counterpoint video is from July of 2020. It's on a channel called Smoking and Grilling with AB. His channel has 1.98 million subscribers. Whoa. Wow. And this video is called Louisiana Style Red Beans and Rice. All right. Mm -hmm. And it has just over a million views. So let's watch him. I picked him as a counterpoint because he's from California. So it's not like he's a local here or anything. At least he did his research. And we kind of and he, he does kind of southern soul food. Uh, so we wanted to to 
see how his looked in comparison. Mm, that looks magnificent. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, AD. And listen, we back at you again with week number three in July for Soul Food Sunday. Hey, check this out. This is super easy. You already read that, you know, the name of this title. And I, today, I'm going to show you guys just how easy it is to make a Louisiana-style red beans and rice. And let's get it. Now look, these are the ingredients that go in here. I'm happy I read. Like but it's really a so there. I he has everything, everything broken, broken down uh, and, and measuring cup you right avoided here. Aaron's kitchen shuffling as he, so, as he searches like for his seasoning yeah, for three, three minutes. Water. Well, I did was right here. I put in three links, right? Just cut them down. You can see the how I did. You Very nice. You can even in quarters if that's what you want to do. Like cut it in half and that half. All right. Then we got the trinity right here. We got bell pepper, celery, Onion, right? Beautiful. We got salt. We got a little cooking oil. This is extra virgin olive oil. See, he's got his bay leaves. Of course, we gotta have the beans, right? I just showed oh, you. He pre, he he pre soaked his beans. Uh, pre soaked all night. It's a pretty common practice. practice. It is a very common oil practice. I have, I have kind of a different thought on there, I don't on soak, I slow soak cook, but if, if you've got to do them quickly, it works. Now, yeah. We got smoked paprika, minced garlic. Nice. Now here are these next uh, three bowls I'm going to show you. They got two ingredients in there also. This is dried oregano and dried thyme in here. Mm -hmm. Here, you guys can see, listen, it's got two. That's garlic powder and onion powder. And a lot of people layer it. He's got fresh garlic and fresh onion and then dried and then garlic right right here, Kind of giving him a layer of those flavors. And then right here, the all in Gordon Spain, which you got, like, the larger ones. we probably should have called out like Eric for that. That's size, true, so Eric did not three. use any. You kind of need so a bay leaf for this. Maybe that was bay leaf from the easy. chili. <laughs> I'm going to be using my Dutch oven, so let's get it. Or maybe okay, anything else you put in. Who knows? He gets points because he's got the same kind of Dutch oven we got. Ours is green. Extra virgin olive oil, and then we're going to go ahead and put our Andouille sausage in there so that we can buy it. He's using Andouille, which is a South Louisiana sausage. Olive oil. He'd be perfectly fine with any good smoked sausage. And Dewey sausage. And Dewey. And Dewey. Tasso. We just want to brown it, right? So what I'm doing is just getting it coated. You know, with the cooking oil. Oh, yeah, it's better than Eric. He actually lets the sausage cook before him. Yeah, we just chuck it in with the Trinity and let it be. We tend to use pickle meat down here. You just want them to brown. You don't want to overcook them. You don't want them to be dried out, right? So this right here is good. I'm going to go ahead and just turn everything off. Right now, I'm going to get the and brown. Back into the bowl, and then I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator and let those stay in there while I mix up and get everything else ready. So then what you wanna do is get yourself a slotted spoon, right? And you just wanna drain all your grease. Listen, that's all your flavor. You're gonna need all of that, you know, for your veggies. Points for using now, his sausage done, grease in the rest of like this. Right, right. Well, I mean, what I did was, Eric used I his bacon grease, pot, which, hey, I think bacon works. grease is a great you know, idea, but just he went so much. I mean, look at the difference in the amount of grease. Like, that is only a small amount of the pot. Meanwhile, a good chunk of the pot got taken up by the bacon grease extravaganza. Right, celery. And again, you know, what you this cook is going to do is French loose steam so. from these veggies. It's going to help get the all the Gordon Trinity. I'm going to just Where call this the flavor without? at the bottom of your, you know, your pack, your pot, or even if you made it in a pan. You know what? This is what you want. So just to absorb everything that was left as the residue. You're cooking the sausage. We'll just let this start a little bit. We'll give this like about a two-minute head start before we add our garlic. So now, after a two-minute head start, I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic. This right here, you guys been following me for a minute, you know how we get down. You should be very, very familiar with this smell right here, with that trinity and that, you know, that garlic. Now, if I was to add, I want you guys to let me know, if I was to add carrot to this, what would that be called? Some of you guys got- Mirapah. Mirapah. You'd replace the bell pepper with carrot. Now, we you make let that saute pie. for about one minute, right? After that. So, AB, AB definitely knows his line. basics right. here. He knows how to. He's he adding his good. smoked paprika, which that's not a bad idea to use no the smoked paprika name, instead of something like left, cayenne. You, 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 you can use, use pepper it. flakes. It, just yeah, any kind yeah. of. Yeah, I mean, the smoked paprika has a little heat, but a little smoky taste. You could do red pepper, which is odd. A lot of people do cayenne, but I like to be able to leave it so that everybody has a little more control over it when you make. Make your plate later on, Everything, yeah. All of the, the so if there's gone. a bunch of us eating it, so not everybody likes it the same heat level. 
a minute and a half to two minutes with this sauteing. I just the nice thing about beans. AB's video so far is I can, beans, I can almost smell his water. screen. smell a vision when will you be a thing? All right, there goes his beans and he put straight water. Nothing wrong with straight water. I would use something no, like just want to chicken up. stock. Get everything and mixed in with your water. Yeah. It works. Now here's a little tip for you. Sometimes I use, you know, chicken broth. As he, chicken as he just said. Oh, wow. yeah. So I think we're on the same wave. Yeah, we're on the same way, bud. Three cups of chicken stock. But this time I'm gonna do it just But I mean, I've made it for friends who are vegetarian and then I make it so I just did water so make it this way first. I didn't use the chicken stock. You taste it this way, then we'll start experimenting. And then I want you guys to come back and tell me which way do you like best. Then what you want to do is all in Make sure you, when you put them in there, you submerge Very, them, you very to important to this. Now we got the, the pot, you know, to a boil, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce it down to like a medium low. We just want this to simmer. We're going to set a timer for one hour. Then we're going to check it. But I tell you, we're going to check it about halfway through that one hour just to make sure and of all things, I didn't have a problem with Eric's 30 minutes because they were already cooked beans. Remember, and we're check but this is right too. His you beans are so, so, they're so, okay, but they're not hour, cooked. Let's take a look at so it. So he's, now, he's simmering them for about an hour to incorporate those flavors. Much faster than the overnight method. Yes. After it does, look, I went ahead and got my pirate. You know what I mean? To each their own. Ladle, right? I took some beans out. This right here is Okay, now here you go. He is. He's going to the next level with stuff. As right. I start to smash if you've them had down, good red beans ladle, before, right? you and you notice how creamy down. they were, you see how that looks right there. It's almost like one or two ways to do that. Then we put it Normally, if you go someplace like Popeyes, red beans, beans are so start, good, that's because they add lard, they add an extra see, layer of fat in, in there, look, to, and know, know, they're delicious, and but love, you know, if you don't want all those extra calories in the fat, you like A.B. did, cook some of the beans out, smash them, you release all those starches, put it back in, and you get that creamy consistency. This right here is what I was looking for. Still wanted to have like a little bit of the, you know, the liquid on it. And you see, it's like, like his thin, are a little lighter uh, because of the water. Then you want to go like, we have it here. Dark. It's a little dark. Very dark colored beans. You know, you but there he goes back and we'll go ahead and add. Nice. I mean, it's better than bring, Eric's you know, kaleidoscope of colors. So we're gonna let this cook for about, I don't know, I'm gonna say about maybe ten more minutes, five to ten minutes. The sausage has some parsley to given it. almost of its flavor with well, the grease. You know, with, with, with the oil and all that, so it doesn't have a lot more to impart at this point. You know, I'm forced to use, you know, dry parsley. That's parsley. why we kind of do that we got stage, a, I use a pickled meat to start you know, and finish nice it with and sausage. And so. cooked in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take out, take out your bay leaves. You know, your bay leaves. And you guys can see Nobody wants this is it right here. Now it's time to go ahead and put it in the bowl and taste it. Not really good to just eat in general. You guys can see, look at this consistency here. Ah, yeah. This right, right here, here. But that, that don't say red beans and rice. Right. That's good you looking right. beans. So we got that. I'll just set that there. What, what I did was, was, I took my bowl. So you, you guys can see. see. And I put half, half of it, you know, rice. rice. Now I'm gonna put this. this. Yeah, he being all fancy, half and half no. in his bowl. Very right fancy. Normally. I just take the beans. And it's a personal choice. Sometimes now I we'll want rice, sometimes I, I, I want and straight green onion. And the onion on top, just to give it a the little garnish. The piece de resistance. And I want you guys to tell me what you think. Look at that right there. That? All right, A.B. I mean, that's a very fancy looking, like, served at a restaurant style red beans. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Eric it did looks... a really good job with that. Eric? What did I say? You said Eric. Uh, A.B. A.B. <laughs> did a really good job. <laughs> Uh, with that, so I uh, can't say much about that. Guys, you tell us what you thought. Uh, tell us what you think about Eric's and AB's red beans. And look, for comparison, go back and see our red bean and rice episode. One I think our, we did a good job. One of our first ones uh, in season one. Of my one. favorite episodes. So uh, please comment below. We are very glad that you've uh, come along with the ride with us. Check out our website at www.bigeasylife.org. And as always, thanks for being part of Our Big Easy Life.